are these people? We've talked about India before, Care Bear. It's not all rainbows and sunshine over there. We've covered them literally hiding their pores when diplomats show up. Um, we talked about them doing lots of things. But tonight we're going to talk about how they're connected with Israel and how you might not want that eye in bricks. Um, you know, unless they get their mind right suddenly. But um, your buddy, Brett Wilkins, over at Shearpost, um, writes Aaron Dahadi Why Roy. Why my buddy? He's, he's your he's your buddy. You know, he comes on. He likes you. Um, he's yours too. Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> so Aaron Dahadi Roy, India must stop arming Israel or forever be linked to the genocide. So August fourth, twenty twenty four. Acclaimed Indian author and activist Arun Hadi Roy this week joined prominent jurists, diplomats, artists, and others in urging their government to stop selling weapons to Israel, which they called abominable, like the snowmen, and a serious violation of India's obligations under international law and our constitution. Speaking Thursday, an event organized by the Press Club of India, Roy, winner of the 1997 Booker Prize for her debut novel The God of Small Things, said that Indians must at least show that we do not support that murder in Gaza. We do not support our government's support of that. Sounds simple enough. What is happening in Gaza, it is not just the murder of tens of thousands of women and children, she continued. It's the bombing of hospitals, the destruction of universities, the attempt to erase the very memory people have of that place. It is a genocide net like no other because it's taking place on live TV. The Indian government is complicit in the genocide that Israel is conducting in Gaza. India used to be a country that supported the people of Palestine in their struggle for freedom, Roy noted. Everywhere, even in the United States, people are standing up against the government's support for Israel, but we are not standing up, and that is a shame. We must stand up. We must refuse, she asserted. We will not support the export of weapons of any kind. Expert of weapons, Colin? You thought we were the only ones giving them weapons? Well, the Indian government is complicit in the genocide that Israel is in conducting in Gaza. It is our responsibility to show that... Did we just read that? I think so. Um, refuse to be complicit in that. Even if our government wishes to continue with what it does, we want these weapon exports to stop immediately. Roy is one of more than two dozen former Indian Supreme Court justices and other judges, foreign service officers, academics, artists, activists, and others who on Wednesday sent a letter to Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh urging him to halt the license of arms to Israel, whose military forces have killed or wounded more than 140,000 Palestinians while obliterating and starving Gaza. The ICJ has clearly ruled that Israel is in violation of obligations under the Genocide Convention and further that Israel is in illegal occupation of the occupied Palestinian territory. The letter states, in light of these rulings, any support of military material to Israel would amount to a violation of India's obligations under international humanitarian law and the mandate of Article 21, read with Article 51C of the Constitution of India. So, thoughts so far, Colin? I mean, we've talked about this, and even Vanessa kind of confirmed, well, not to say we need her confirmation, but she did, you know, regarding in the end how two-faced they've been in terms yeah. of, you know, like, and not just them, but, you know, in terms of having one foot, in terms of, you know, trying to uh, bring about bricks, but also another foot as far as Western interest. So this doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, in fact, it's actually more of a confirmation that I've been and we've been very mixed on bricks. And people talk about bricks as it's a good thing. But again, a lot of the larger countries within bricks are still tied to Western interests. So how effective are they truly going to be or how are they really going to be stand against the West when they're using a lot of Western uh, uh -huh. bureaucracy in order to try and make themselves viable? Well, that doesn't not make just, sense to me. Like, 
we talked about Elbit systems in the past, right? And how they're connected here, connected in the UK. Well, guess where else they're connected? Um, among the weapons India has sent to Israel are Hermes 900 unmanned aerial drones, which are co-manufactured with Israel arms company Elbit Systems. The letter notes that drones have been extensively used in the Israeli Defense Force military campaign. Several UN experts have warned that the transfer of weapons and ammunition to Israel may constitute series, serious violations of human rights and international humanitarian laws and risk state complicity in international crimes, possibly including genocide, reiterating their demand to stop transfers immediately, the letter signer wrote. So, um, that's, that's that drone right there, uh, that little Hermes. I'm sure it has lovely packages to drop on people. Um, <laughs> made in Hyderabad? Hyd Hyderabad? Hyderabad? Sure. I'm going to say. Sure. Um, yeah, currently in active deployment in the intense Israel-Hamas conflict, as, as stated here at NDTV News. Um, whoever that is. In short... The grant of licenses and approvals for export of military material to Israel, coupled with reports of such experts by Indian companies, constitutes a serious violation of India's obligations under international law and our own constitution. International law aside, we consider such exports to be morally objectable, indeed abominable. The signatories added, we demand therefore that India should immediately suspend its collaboration in the delivery of military material to Israel. Further, India must immediately make every effort to ensure that weapons already delivered to Israel are not used to contribute to acts of genocide or violations of international humanitarian law. Good luck with that shit. You know? Um, but the letter came ahead of planned nationwide protests by Indian leftists on Saturday calling for an end to arms sales and all forms of complicity with Israel's illegal occupation and genocide. India, which in 1971 invaded Bangladesh, then East Pakistan, in large part to end a U.S.-backed Pakistani genocide, mostly targeting Bengalis, voted in favor of the December UN Security Council's resolution, calling for an immediate Gaza ceasefire. So, there it is, right? 3rd August nationwide protest by India's left parties for Palestine demands to the Indian government are cancel all export licenses for arms supply to Israel, halt all arms imports from Israel, and all forms of complicity with Israel's illegal occupation and genocide. So, I mean, sounds like a start, you know? Sure. So, but, uh, yep. However, the administration of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and many lawmakers from his right-wing Bharatiya Janata Party, there we go, I got it out eventually, expressed steadfast support for Israel and its Gaza onslaught. Critics have noted that both Israel and India are occupying Muslims, the former in Palestine and the latter in Jammu and Kashmir. In an interview with Middle East Eye published Friday, Roy, who faces prosecution in India over comments she allegedly made 15 years ago regarding Kashmir, said that India could forever be linked to genocide if it does not change course. That's too late. Um, India needs to stop the export of weapons to Israel and ensure the return of Indian workers who have been sent to Israel to replace Palestinian workers. Where have we talked about that before, Colin? Um, uh, Indian workers. Yeah, this in this case, India workers. Well, but yeah, in but other we've cases, we talked about that with Africa. Right, we've talked about that with Africa and Thailand. So as well, right. Um, so cheap labor forces that Israel tends to use. Um, if it does not do so at once, it is in violation of the orders of the ICJ. It will forever be complicit in aiding and abetting a genocide that is being telecast live for the world to watch. Closing thoughts, Colin? I mean, pretty short. Yeah, I, I, what else needs to be said other than like, yeah. India is... Uh, India is 
duplicitous. It's du- yep. they're duplicitous in terms of, you know, claiming that, you know, they care about these global issues, but then they side with the West in terms of, uh, but you, we've talked about this, we've read about this, how like, you know, they have deals with France in order to get weapons. So, yeah. So it's, yeah. So I'm not surprised by this at all. Um, but again, it, it makes me think twice about BRICS and how effective that's going to be, uh, especially with India as large of an economy as they have, will be leading the charge along with uh, Russia and China. And honestly, even with Russia and China, while I think of them a little bit bet slightly, I don't completely, you know, trust them either. So it's like, and I understand why, you know, they're trying to bring things together. But again, if you're trying to create it on, if you're trying to create it based on Western values, then, you know, or at least that type of imperialism in this case, then... How much better are you in compared to like the G seven nations? Yep. No, it makes sense to me. So you know, keep an eye out. Especially if you're gonna model it after the World Bank. Probably not the best thing right. to do. Um Right. Because that's been such a force for good. I mean, I get the problems are mainly us in that, but at the same time, you know. Um you know, and if you want to give to our little World Bank, you could scan that QR code on your screen or use code-v.com slash Indie News Network. You can, you can go right there to that, or it's in the description below, or you can put exclamation mark donate in the chat. Plenty of ways to send us money. Mail it to us, carry your pigeon, we'll take whatever we can get. You know, we're trying out here. Um, but if you can't do that, like it, subscribe, hit the share button, leave a comment, let us know what you think. What do you think about it? You know, let us know. But, you know, otherwise, thanks for watching.